Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl T, and yes, I know I said I was over the whole Kanye West debacle and all his BS. I did a video earlier today on Kanye West, only to go onto social media and see him trending once again, okay? So what's going down with Kanye West is this. So earlier today, Charlemagne the God from The Breakfast Club, he released his one-on-one interview with Kanye West. He did it at Kanye West's house. Everybody has been waiting for this interview. And within an hour, had over a million views and it had a bunch of likes on there. I watched the full hour. It was very interesting. He made a lot of really good points. He had some points that I did disagree with. But overall, it felt like we were getting to see more of Kanye and getting to see what made him tick, okay? So for the most part, social media and their fake outrage having asses from just this past weekend when everybody was mad about the stuff he was saying, now they were all praising him once again on this Charlemagne the God video, okay? But then about 20 minutes after that, TMZ released a video of Kanye West going to the TMZ studios and people started tagging me in this video on Instagram. And in this video, Kanye West starts talking about his political views. And at first it seemed really interesting. I was agreeing with some of his points that he was making, you know what I'm saying? And he was saying some valid things. And then he decided to hit on slavery, And at that point, my ears perked up only to hear Kanye West say that slavery was a choice and the fact that it lasted 400 years proves that the slaves were basically okay with it. You know, I was just like, is this dude for real? So Kanye West says that you guys were there for 400 years. I guess you guys were mentally in prison. And when I'm listening to this, I'm like, is this dude serious right now? And all of a sudden, Van Lathan, he's one of the TMZ employees. He's a black man on the TMZ show. He gets up and he basically gets filled with the Holy Spirit, honey. And when I tell you he preached and he basically put Kanye West in his place, not in a disrespectful manner, not in a fucking rap diss, not green lighting a bunch of gangbangers to go attack Kanye. He literally spoke from his heart with no agenda. He wasn't trying to sell us his gospel album. He wasn't looking to get ratings on his new TV show. He wasn't looking to trend. He spoke to Kanye one-on-one from one black man to another black man who was was sincerely disappointed in the moves and the actions that Kanye West is making. And for Van Lathan stepping up and doing that, all I can say to him is thank you and kudos, okay? If you guys have not seen the video that went down today on TMZ, I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this clip. Go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I am unbelievably hurt by the fact that you have morphed into something, to me, that's not real. You got to be responsible. No. I'm sorry I hurt you, bro. bro. Your voice is too big. You got All right, so you guys just watched that clip. And like I said, Van Lathan gets nothing but props from me. I love people like that who speak their mind because you could feel a genuineness. When I see these other hip-hop celebrities trying to down-top Kanye, they're only doing it for their own egos. They're only doing it to trend. A lot of them are not sincere. They themselves perpetuate so much bullshit, I refuse to even pay them any mind when they call themselves trying to chastise somebody else. But this man, Van Lathan, is not in the same category as a mushmouth T.I. and as a fake woke Snoop Dogg and all these other rappers who have been perpetuating bullshit for years now they want to be fake woke and deep van lathan is not coming from that so for that i can respect him and respect how he came at kanye west so the thing that bothers me with the whole situation is this is that kanye west wants to come off fake deep you know i'm saying like i said he has every right to support trump if he wants to support trump i just don't care about the whole political aspect of it because that's the point of being an american you're supposed to be free to support whatever candidate that you decide to support you know i'm saying so people are going to support trump no matter how much we rant and rave about the situation People are going to support who they want to support, okay? My issue with this whole discussion was the whole slavery issue. What bothers me is this. Why is it that some of us as black people are so quick to marginalize our suffering, to trivialize our own issues? This is no different than when I called out Daz Dillinger. You're so quick to greenlight some Crips to go whoop Kanye West's ass, but I didn't see him not one time greenlight these same Crips to go after George Zimmerman. And that's my issue with a lot of these celebrities, and this is why I don't put them on pedestals, because they spew all types of bullshit simply looking for attention. And Kanye definitely got the attention he was seeking, because after his TMZ interview went viral, when I tell you the trending topic was crazy, literally every trend had something to do with Kanye West. Everything from Van Lathan to slavery to Harriet Tubman, the Senate. 
uh, Charlemagne, Nat Turner, did Kanye, Choice. I mean, it was just a mess. Folks were dragging him from Twitter to Instagram to Facebook. He literally got the attention he was damn sure seeking. And to me, Kanye West knows exactly what he's doing because what I find funny is that he's so quick to marginalize slavery. Okay, Kanye, have you never heard of indoctrination? You know what I'm saying? For somebody to compare themselves and say what they would and wouldn't do during slavery is bullshit. Just like I called out that black woman several years ago, the woman that lived in Virginia, her name was Karen Cooper, and she was spewing the same racist Tea Party bullshit that slavery was a choice and that if they didn't want to be slaves, they could have just killed themselves, okay? Do y'all remember in the Black Panther when Killmonger said that powerful speech? Killmonger said, bury me in the ocean with my ancestors that jumped from the ships because they knew death was better than bondage. Do you know how much of an agonizing decision that had to be? There were no weak people in slavery. And it's very easy for us to sit in 2018 where we have all this technology, we have GPS, we have all of these, these creature comforts that people back in the 17 and 1800s did not have. It's very easy to sit here in modern day and say what you would and wouldn't do. You don't know what the fuck you would have done during slavery, Kanye. You could have been a Nat Turner or you could have been a damn Sambo. You have no idea. And to spew stuff like that is such bullshit. And in my personal personal opinion, what I find funny about this is that Kanye would not be bold enough to make those same sentiments concerning the Holocaust. The Holocaust lasted from 1933 to 1945, which was approximately 12 years. Would Kanye West have the gall to blame these Holocaust survivors for basically allowing themselves to be victims, for basically being mentally enslaved and not fighting back? He wouldn't have dared said that about the Jewish community, okay? Would Kanye West have also blamed the Cambodian community? If you guys don't know, back in 1970, from 75 to 79, which was four years, there was a Cambodian genocide that was basically perpetuated by the Khmer Rouge, okay? Millions of people lost their lives in those four years, just like millions of people lost their lives in the 12 years during the Holocaust, you know what I'm saying? So he would not minimize that, but yet and still you're so comfortable trivializing and minimizing slavery, I find that disgusting. Support Donald Trump, make America great again, spew all that bullshit, believe slavery out your damn mouth, Kanye West, because you're speaking on some bullshit that you have no business speaking on. And if you're not gonna have that same attitude towards the Jewish Holocaust or towards what happened to the people in Cambodia, don't have that same flippant, dismissive, ignorant attitude towards your own people, okay? And this is why I tell you guys time and time again, stop putting these weird ass celebrities on pedestals, stop allowing them to be the voice of the community, be your own damn voice, okay? Stop looking at Kanye West, Snoop Dogg, T.I., and all these other mush mouth, fake woke, wanna be deep weirdos to lead y'all. I'm gonna leave y'all with one final quote before I get up out of here. This quote is from Malcolm X, and back in the 60s, he was calling out how the mainstream media was basically trying to push celebrities and entertainers down people's throats and act like they were the voice of the black community. And I see this happening now in modern times where people are acting like celebrities somehow speak for your regular, everyday black man and woman in America. Kanye West does not speak for me, neither do any of these other rappers who are just so wishy-washy. One moment they want to be deep and one moment they want to look out for the community, then the next moment they're perpetuating bullshit, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with this quote. And on that note, I'm out. I don't care about Kanye West and all his nonsense. All he wants is attention. And for Kanye, any attention is good attention, regardless if it's good or bad. He just basically wants to sell albums and keep his name out there. And he's going to go about doing this by any means necessary. No pun intended to Malcolm X. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Kanye West putting his foot in his mouth, you know what I'm saying? And basically saying that slavery was a choice and Van Lathan checking the hell out his ass, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Told you a little while ago, these leaders that they call leaders, this included Lena Horne, this included Dick Gregory, and this included comedians, comics, trumpet players, baseball players. Show me in the white community where a comedian is a white leader. Show me in the white community where a singer is a white leader, or a dancer or a trumpet player is a white leader. These aren't leaders. These are puppets and clowns that uh, have been set up over the white community and or over the black community by the white community and have been made celebrities and usually say exactly what uh, they know that the white man wants to hear.
Hey you guys, it's your girl T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.